Alright, here we go, hell of a sandwich. And here's the breakfast menu. We'll look at the queue right out here. 90 minute wait. Another taste different in French. <laughs> Ooh la la! Look at the Disneyland uh, hotel down there, it looks amazing. Take the second exit onto Lando <laughs> Dana D3. Like NYPD. Yeah, NYPD police car in front. That's uh, strange. Let me show you. No, no. An NYPD police car. So, can't be real. Welcome to a new vlog. We are on our way to Earl of Sandwich for breakfast in Disney Village. We've not been to Earl of Sandwich all week and I've really fancied it. So, then after that, we are going to. Why aren't you talking like this? Walt Disney Studios to do a walk around, which will be on the Extras channel. Uh, might jump on a couple of rides depending on. How much we wait eat for breakfast. And stuff. Well, yeah, that's true. And then we are going to head down to a couple of Disney hotels. Hotel. One's a, Dis a proper Disney hotel, which is David Crockett's Ranch. Is that right? Yeah, David I think, it's a, I think it's a proper Ranch, Disney like hotel. And then the other one is, what's it called? No idea. La Nature's... La Valle Nature something or other. Something like that, which is like a big sort of um, centre parks type one. I'm not sure if it's a proper Disney one or a partner one, but we'll see when we get there. We might not be able to get in. We'll I mean, see. we can in the hotels around yeah. um, Lake Buena Vista. So we thought we'd go and check those out, see what they are, show them to you guys and uh, just see if it's somewhere that we, where we'd want to stay when we come back at if, some point. If you do want to get into the hotels, all you have to do is just tell the security on the gate that you want to go and have a drink or mm -hmm. food in one of the snacks. Mm -hmm. If you tell them you're going to have a look around, sometimes they'll say, oh no, we're too busy today. Yeah. We've which, had that in Florida. Yeah, so we always just go for a drink to the bar and they let you straight in. Like you saw on the last vlog perhaps, they ask you to look in the trunk here just to yeah. see what you've got in your trunk. So we are nine minutes away from Disney. It is a weekend now, so we'll see what the crowds are like on a Saturday. So we've noticed on our drive to Disney and back, they have a lot of square trees. They cut the trees square. So, just like the castle. Yeah, I don't know whether that's like a Disney thing or a French thing or what. Um, Comment below if you know. Yeah. The difference with it being a weekend. Oh my god. We've got through almost immediately all week, but uh, now it's Saturday morning. I dread to think what the wait times are. We're gonna be queuing. Wasn't too bad a wait, um, so we'll see around here what it's like in the car parks. We've managed to get in A or B so far during the week. Ooh, looks like we're queuing here. Not really. Just a bit yeah, of congestion slowly. going in. I mean, one thing they don't do here is they don't actually check the annual pass at all. No, you could just flash a piece of gold card and, yeah. and they just say bonjour. Yeah, they do. And then flag you in. This is definitely different yeah. here. But it's to be expected for a Saturday. Yep. I've just looked at the uh, the queue times for both parks as well, and they're not actually any different. Well, crushes, crushes up to 75 yeah. minutes, uh, but everything else is pretty much all right. Almost. I would imagine most people aren't even going yeah, in exactly. yet. Oh, it looks like we're going into a different car park today. Oh no, oh he's just... Oh yeah, yeah, we are, yeah, we are. I bet, that, I bet those That's people have infinity. got uh, Infinity Pass. If you've yeah. got Infinity Pass, which is the black pass, the top pass, um, you can go and park down there, right at the front. So we're in a different car park today. This looks like the UV parking. Yeah. And it's, I think, did I just say it was $45 for parking for a, a vehicle that size if you don't have an annual pass? It's a hell of a lot of money. Yeah, it is a lot of money as well. It's like a normal busy day in Magic Kingdom in it's Florida. Like, I don't think I've ever seen that many crowds and that many cars going in, in. Actual, in Florida. So it's almost full on the left side. We've managed to get in road G. I didn't notice what we were in. G what? Uh, I forgot G. to look. Oops. It's just in front of that green fence. Can you imagine trying to get through security? I know, it's going to be a nightmare. Right, that's the state of uh, queues, getting through security. Every single barrier is open now. Yeah, so we're going to go through the Disney Village one. This is a new one, they've not had this open all week. No. Oh, 
Right, so we're heading through Disney Village and a lot of people from the hotels are heading this way. So I would imagine those queue times in the parks are going to skyrocket in the next 30 minutes. We'll keep an eye out on that and uh, report back. But we're off for breakfast up to Earl of Sandwich. Alright, here we go, Earl of Sandwich. And here's the breakfast menu. So they do French Ooh. breakfast for five fifty with a croissant. Uh, American breakfast, which is probably what I'll get, six ninety five. Oh my god. An English massive breakfast at nine ninety five. They did a full English. Yeah. So these are the sandwiches that we're used to when we come into Earl's sandwich. Oh look at that, all the French here. Brian honey mustard sauce and oh loads of cheese god. and stuff. A wine barbecue, oh tuna melt. That would be my favourite. Salads as well. Wraps. Tater wedges, soups, wraps. Maybe another day though, because we are here for breakfast. They also do meal deals as well, which are too bad price. Twelve fifty for a drink, brownie, wrap, and crisps. That's a really good price for a lunch or a salad. For the same. Menu, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so you order yourself from those three terminals there. The menu's actually quite limited compared to Florida. They've only got like nine, um, no they haven't, they've got 12 different types of sandwiches. They don't have the French dip, which was, I was really looking forward to. But they have a lot of other nice flavors like Cannonball, which is like a meatball mariana. Um, they've got salads, soups, and things like that. I'm not sure whether the Florida one has them, because we we've only ever had a sandwich. Um, but yeah, it's self-service from the machines. You type everything in, it's all in French, so we, we can pretty much work out what it was. And um, you just wait for your number to be called. So I'm just waiting for number 28. Although it says it appears on the screens, but none of those screens have actually got numbers appearing at the minute. So maybe they announce it over a tannoy, I don't know. But I've just got to show you these, look at that. There's like a fake library with like book spines and then a staircase going up up there. Is that outside on, a, on an outside terrace? I don't know, but over there you've got an up, upstairs that you overlook the Disney arena on the back and then there's, there's outside seating area as well. It's very bright so, and it is. Right, so it is an outside area, it says Roof Terrace Lake View. So I think what we're going to do is once we've got our, um, our sandwich we may head up there and have a gander. Right, so we're going to go and have our uh, breakfast on the Lake View Terrace. So you can sit inside or outside. We like it. How nice. C'est bon. Lovely view on it. Oh, the temperature is just perfect at the minute. Right, let's tuck in. Those guests are still streaming from those hotels. Yeah, loads of people from the hotels this morning. There's something wrong with when you order coffee. We're yeah, ordering the wrong they, coffee. Well, I don't, well, I ordered... Every coffee is like... 30 really cc's or something like that. <laughs> I ordered cafe long, expecting it to be like a really large coffee, but it's not. It's still just a small. Got, um, like Union Jack flags on. No idea. But, um, but here we go. Look, that is our breakfast bun: bacon, egg, and cheese. I wish you had the other sandwich a hot, in the UK. A hot chocolate, and that's our view. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, look at that bacon. Oh, it's American bacon as well, isn't it? Very nice. Just missing a bit of ketchup. Right, let's tuck in. Okay, as usual, I made myself sound a bit stupid, wondering why it's, got, why it's got British things on um, an Earl of Sandwich. Obviously, it's because it's Earl of Sandwich, and Earl, the Earl of Sandwich, was British. And um, Nick's just looked it up. <laughs> Shall I tell him? Yeah. it all wrong. He invented a sandwich. It was invented in 1762, John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. He was playing poker and he needed something to eat and didn't want to leave the table. So what he did is he asked one of his servants to bring him some roast beef, put it between two slices of bread so he could eat with his hands. And he invented the sandwich. And that was when the sandwich was born. So I wonder, I was just saying, they obviously try and make it like a big British brand then. Why there is none that I know of in England. There is actually an Earl of Sandwich that now serves in the House of Lords currently. Oh. A descendant of the 11th Earl. Well, it's not a big thing in, in Britain though, is yeah, it? Can you imagine being called the Earl of Sandwich? Well, You'd just associate it with a, with a, with a Florida, wouldn't you? Or, or Paris. Yeah. Right, we're heading into Walt Disney Studios. So, thankfully, a lot of people seem to be heading straight towards Disneyland Park. But it's going to be very busy in there today. And it's actually open from 9 o'clock because it's the weekend, so we're going to head in there later in this vlog so we can see it all lit up in the dark 
Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, no, that's the queue for uh, guest relations. Blimey. Well, so, I hope none of them think they can buy tickets because apparently you can't. Yesterday. You can't buy tickets on the, on the day. No. So today is a day when we're going to get to use the annual pass line and hopefully get straight through. So there's the queues to get in, which to be honest aren't bad, it's just the guest relations queues are unbelievable. Um, so the annual pass, there's no one here, so we're just going straight in. Nick's actually doing a walkthrough, which will be on the Extras channel. There's a lot of people walking out of the parks already, like all these people coming out and loads of people going out. So I don't know whether they've had like early magic hours or just got in when the park opened to get on Crush or something like that. So heading into studio number one. A lot of people on the vlogs just don't like this area I've seen before and just find it weird, but I, I like it. I think it's kind of cool. That's a really nice big merch store. Um, we've not been in that tiki, tiki place yet, but I kind of like it, it's funky and cool. So the flying carpets of Agrabah are, are actually in Walt Disney Studios, not in um, Disneyland Park here. Oh wow, look at the queue for, uh, is that Crusher's Coaster queue? Wow, you're gonna be waiting a long time for that today. So this is the only place that I've seen where it says World of Pixar. You know, all this is now called World of Pixar, but like I said the other day, I can't see any sort of like signs for it or anything. I thought they'd have a big sign up as you walked in. Oh wow, look at the queue right out here. 90 minute wait for Crusher's Coaster. And a lot of the time this week, and looking like today, they've not had any single rider queues open. I guess because they want to get as many people on as they can. Can't see like a uh, the fast pass lane. Premium access. That's just for uh, disabled there. No idea what this queue for at the minute. I can only think it's for Ratatouille, but if it is, wow. Let's see, we're on a go around corner. Yeah, I think it is for Ratatouille. So Ratatouille has been 15 minute wait all week, sometimes five minute wait. At the moment, it's 50 minute wait. Right, so up here in the uh, new cars bit, where that's the, um, the cars sort of like studio tour, which used to be the studio tour. So you can't get any further than that at the moment. And then you can see all the cranes at the back where they're building frozen land. I've got to go on that. We've still not been on that because the wait times have been really high all week. So let's have a look what it is on a Saturday. 70 minutes. Maybe it's something we do when we come back another time, but I really want to try that. Right, it's about 40 minutes, 50 minutes later and we're just heading back out after we've done our tour. So um, the queues are looking a lot like they did during the week really now, because everybody's in the park. There's no queue at all for the Disney Village one, but the wait times have gone up quite tenfold. Tenfold, yeah, they are there quite were five minutes, now. and those rides are now 50 minutes. And there's some even 90 minutes in there. The crowds now are actually spilling outside the rides and yeah. into their sort of like precinct areas. So as you saw when I was vlogging, Tower Terror is right outside, and Ratatouille was just crazy. I've never seen that. Yeah, and also as well, they still have the standby queue queuing system disabled. Probably to try and force people to get, I was going to get frustrated with standing in queues to buy the Premier Access. Yeah, although, well, I didn't, I, I couldn't spot any Premier Access entrances to see if anybody were going down or oh, not. I saw them, but they were completely void of people. Yeah. So I don't think their new system's working particularly well. It's just going to, well, basically piss a lot of people off, especially people, when you, yeah. you can enter a standby queue, go and spend money somewhere else, and then come back at your allotted time. But they're actually and when we spoke off. to them, they just turned it off saying it's out of season. Yeah. Well, People really are going to get disheartened today. from that. But yeah. one thing that we've learned from that is we will not come back on a Saturday and a Sunday again. Yeah, we'll I know a lot of people don't have that choice, but for us, we're going to avoid it like the yeah, plague. Yeah, we're lucky enough to be able to come back sort of Monday to Friday, and that's what we'll do yeah. all the time. So, I don't we, think I've ever seen queues like that, even in Florida. Well, apart from Avatar, which is usually four hours. Well, Crush was 90 minutes, yeah. and Avatar's usually around sort of 90 minutes, usually. 
we're heading out of the park back to the car and we're going to go to uh, david crockett's um disney hotel have a look around there there's a cafe there or something isn't it Ooh. or something we'll Get go a tart there un pom. what's that oh apple tart. apple tart they are very nice here in french in, in france. french <laughs> in france <laughs> no they taste different in french <laughs> Ooh la la lots of coaches in the car park which have been uh, bussing people in in the crowds Right, back in the car, we're heading to David Crockett's Ranch, which is a 14 minute drive away from Disneyland, so not too bad. And we're going to Crockett's Ranch, do you say? Crockett's Tavern. Crockett's Tavern, uh, a little bar, a uh, snack area or something. So we're going to have a look around there and we'll, we'll show you around what we can. And would you to come last May, June. I think it was May or June, June yeah. with Nikki and Charlotte. We we're actually going to stay at the, the David Crockett's Ranch. Um, so it'd be good to see it and show those guys. I did actually ask Nikki if he fancied coming this time, but he didn't have any holidays left, unfortunately. He's saving them for Florida. Yeah, saving them for Florida. Fingers crossed he's going in, in January. And when we were looking last year, I always thought it was like really far out, but I guess it is if you driving because I'm not sure there's any buses from from here from what we were looking up we had to get like Ubers in and stuff like that but uh, we'll see what it's like when we it is there. outside the big ring that yeah. goes around everything it's yeah. kind of out on the, the southeast side I yeah. think from from memory from looking at it yeah. but we'll find out shortly right so ranch David Crockett is down here and villagers nature is just there so we're gonna hopefully go and have a look at that afterwards Continue once we've been to uh, daily be at Crockett's I'm sorry but it doesn't half look like we're in Florida <laughs> right, David we're just Crockett. It's nice, but it's not Florida. Right, you're gonna have to talk your way in now. Yeah, so we're going to ooh, ooh, we're going to um, Crockett Tavern. Crockett's Tavern. Yeah, for a drink and a snack. Right, we're in. So we just told them we're going to Crockett's Tavern, which is true. We will go there and have a drink or something. But as I was saying, yes. Just driving down here, we just felt like we're on uh, in 300 meters uh, of the road highway in Orlando. The, exit. the weather is, of course, helping. So. Ooh. A big one. I'm imagining or expecting this to remind me of Fort Wilderness. We'll see. Hopefully, we don't see a black snake though, like we did last time. I already love the theming. <laughs> I thought it looked. I, I kind of thought it was like camping in cabins and things well, like that. Right, then well, yeah, right. it is kind of. When we yeah, were. But that looks like a big hotel there. Yeah, we'll have to see when we get there. Right, we're here. You're going to Welcome. Say it again, aren't you? Vienna View. Be out of you. Be out of you. How do you say it? Just forget it. Just about Be out of you. That's it. Be out of David Crockett ran. So we've got to go through. Go on, say it once more. Be out of you. What? Well, it feels like Florida. <laughs> it does. But that's a good thing because I love Florida. No, it's definitely um, Florida okay. style. Just like Florida. Entry, entrance, trading post over there. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it already. It's got that, it's got that um, Hotel Cheyenne feel, but more. More Cow farmyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More farmyard rather than western. Reception there, we're going to have a look in there. Oh my goodness, can you imagine if we'd have stayed here last last year? We would have been absolutely we'd we'd loving been it. blown away, wouldn't we? Well, I was blown away with Hotel Cheyenne. Right, let's go into reception first, have a quick look. Oh, that smell. Oh, that smells nice, doesn't it? That piney, polished pine smell. It's quite a small yeah, reception. Yeah, Yeah. 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 All David Crockett stuff there. Right, let's go have a look in this shop. So the playground area over there, that looks like amusements and slot machine and arcade and stuff. And this <laughs> would be so good on an evening. I wonder if they like that up on an evening then. I so. Sat on a chair around there. Oh, I love it. Get me a beer. There's so many hotels I already want to stay in and try. I actually love the, the hotels, probably more than the park yeah, actually. Yeah, it's just so nice to go around all the hotels, isn't it? Right, a little look in Alamo Trading Post, which I'm sure is just like all the other merch shops, but I don't like having a, a mooch. So we've got the Halloween stuff out. I like these. Uh, these would be great for the girls. Only 13 euros. I just don't know what size they'd want. I'd love to get in one of them. I don't really understand the sizes at all. 6 here. Match for my sister, I like them. So yeah, oh there we go. This has got all the general store stuff here, if you're staying on site. And you need some food or cereals, eggs, bread, and what have you. 
and then all the merch and stuff if you need things, things oh, fresh fruit and salad if you need some things for your kitchen I think that's my favourite merch range this year Nick got that hat, I really like these um, American themed not right keen on that hoodie though, I wish it were like that and I might even think about getting one it's all 30% off the sweatshirts as well well, he's just ringing his sister to check some um, clothes sizes for the girls. Take it they have flies out here. Well, you're going to do out in the woods really, aren't you? But they've got a huge selection of um, stuff for if you know. Obviously, it's more self-catering, these kind of places, but they've got a huge selection of things to buy. A lot more than what we saw in the hotel last night when they just had literally a, an aisle of crisps. And more importantly, you've got your wine and your JB, your frozen stuff. I'm sure Lee's probably already covered some of this anyway, but um, I've got to say, I, I, I love the themed resorts more than anything else. Right, Lee's still talking to his sister. I just found a coffee machine, and those are the prices. And then outside here is where you can just sit, just have a coffee in the sun, and just relax. Right, Nick's just paying for these clothes for the girls. Um, the sizing's a bit weird, so it's like 14A, 6A. 5A, 8A, so I've gone a lot bigger so that they'll grow into them and um, hopefully they'll like those for Halloween. So it looks like this is the pool, it looks like it might be an indoor pool. Mm, and there's tavern, so the tavern oh, on the do. left and, the, an and pool the pool actually. on the right. We're going to have a look in the tavern, it might not be open by the looks of it. They were open for breakfast. Oh yeah, it might not be open. But indoor, bonjour. Indoor pool there. Right, so they just let us come inside to have a film. Oh, that looks so nice and there's absolutely nobody in it, so it'll be perfect. It's definitely heated as well because it's so warm in here. I have just asked, you do have to be staying in the hotel um, to be staying in the pool, which I presumed so. And this is the tavern, which I think is closed at the minute. That was open for breakfast, but now they're... Um... Oh, but it's nice in there as well. Yeah. So there's a saloon there, it's not open until 6pm, 6pm to 11pm. For drinks and ten pin, uh, not ten pin, uh, what do you call it? Table tennis or ping, ping pong. pong. Tables there, my dad loved that, it used to be in you know, a ping pong uh, oh, tournaments no. when we were at school. Yeah, that's the saloon. Indian meadows here, all well, the teepees in the grounds. I'm presuming you don't stay in those, they're just for like no, kids was, playing in and stuff. There were some of them at um, Cheyenne. Yeah, and we went in with the kids. Does look like a camper settlement, though. Yeah. Look at the big boat here. It's full of water though. Wow. Campfire here. I wonder if they ever like that. Doesn't look like it's been lit for a while. I wonder if they do like movies here. Movies around the campfire. What is it in there? Well, I put some drinks machine, I'm gagging. Is it drinks? It's fresh, but it's empty. Oh no, I'm gagged. Empty. Lucky Raccoon Game Arcade for the kids. Nice and air in here. That's lovely. Yeah. Look like the decent um, machines as well. Mario Kart. I love it. Quick game of that. Decent little arcade. Little mini golf course here. Two euros fifty each. Right, we've just walked down here to some of the uh, ranches. So Coyote Trail here. And they look like little caravans. They look like mini lodges. They look like little mini lodges. And like, in fact, they look like our first lodge. We were just saying, I bet it's lovely to stay here at Christmas. I wonder if they trim it all up like they did in, in Fort Wilderness. Maybe. What's this little place? Breakfast. Where? Eh? Oh, wow, little breakfast hut. I wonder if that's like, like breakfast boxes. Yeah. I love it here, it's like the lodge park. Oh, it is. They've got their own little verandas, look. Yeah. Watch out for uh, oh. this, whatever it is. Still of trucks. <laughs> that one's got a barbecue on it by the looks of it, if you want a nice little barbecue. Every time I come to a different Disney hotel here, I, I, wanna, I change my mind about where I want to stay. I know, me too. It was Newport. Well, it was Hotel New York. Then Newport. Then you loved Cheyenne and now I love this. 
I still want to have a look around to play a lodge. Oh yeah, well we can't. I just want to see that one that yet. Because we never did that when we were at Wilderness Lodge. No. We kind of we were there for one night and we saw it, but we never actually sat there and just enjoyed it. Right, we're just having a, a drive around just to see if any of the other cul-de-sacs are different sizes and things, because there's multiple um, cul-de-sacs as you can see there. Um, so just seeing if any of them have got all different things on. Wig these are housekeeping again. Um, maybe. These are the same size. On yeah, the these are the same size. We were just kind of discussing why they've not built it closer to Disney, but obviously they you can see now yeah. a huge forest to yeah. do it. The Bobcat Trail. These are the same. Yeah. So maybe they're all the same. They can't have like they must cater for larger families. Maybe they're just all different, like. Um, inside like one bedrooms or two bedrooms right so we're just heading out of uh, david crockett's and straight at the end of this road is villagers nature which is by center parks so I presume it's a disney um partner hotel so we'll have to see if, whether we can actually get in here and have a look around it looks huge it does look huge match. and lots of cafes and stuff like that so hopefully we can get in have a look around and have a drink Right, here we are, just round the corner. Villagers Nature Paris. I don't think we'll get in here. No, Nick was just saying it's like going to a centre park in the UK and just asking to look around, which I'm guessing you can't do, but uh, I'll see if I can uh, work my charms. I'll see if I can speak French. Bonjour. Right, so we didn't make it in there. We've just been talking to a, a nice security man on the gate, and to get in for the day, you have to pay 50 euros. I don't know whether that's per person or or per car or whatever. It was very difficult because he didn't speak he didn't, French, so we yeah. were both using Google <laughs> Translate, which worked really well, by yeah, the way. Yeah, did, actually. We were talking to each other on the phones. Um, so, yeah, you can't go in there and just look around. Um, if anybody has done that and, you know, let us know in the comments below so we know for next time. So we'll, we'll have to look up that on vlogs when we get back. Um, it does look very good from, very from, nice. the, from the air and from the stuff that you've read. Yeah. But it's not it's not actually Disney owned. No. So um, you can't just walk in like you can on no. the resorts. So we're going to go to the shopping centre, uh, Val de Europe shopping centre, commercial centre, commercial. Centre Commercial. Why do you try and speak French when you can't speak French? Because <laughs> that's what it's called. Centre yeah, but Commercial. You're not French and you can't speak it. Um, so we're going to go there and have some lunch there because we are going to head back to the park tonight. Hopefully, we'll get to see Disneyland Park in the dark, all lit up for the first time. So rather than going back in now when it's really busy, we'll go to the shopping centre, which could also be busy, but they've got that massive food court. Yeah. So we'll go and have a proper look around there and get and some lunch. And we want to look at the outdoor outlet bit as well. Yeah. And we also want to call it Lidl and get some wine to bring back because it's about one dollar one euro 99 a bottle might as well so we might as well take it back we've got the car so yeah. we're going to do that as well right we're coming to the uh village outlet first of all love these like bikes and fruit baskets and stuff what they've got around oh it's for um halloween i presume oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's got uh, pumpkins in so no, I don't think it's out. I mean, we've not looked at the prices, but I mean, there's like Valentino and Lacoste, Fred if Perry. Was, if it was an outlet, they'd have signs on the window saying percent yeah. off or whatever, yeah. and we've seen all that. It's all like Michael designer, Kors, yeah. Louis Vuitton, all that kind of stuff. A designer. But if you like this kind of stuff, it's a nice little, uh, nice yeah. little place to have a little mooch. Thing. When we came the other day, and it was raining. This was at the end of this row. Yeah. Which should, it was because I can remember that that, that ball. Bubble. And then the restaurants are just on the other side. This little village place is, well not little, is massive. It's huge. We've just come around the corner. I thought we were here at the main building, but not. it goes on for another huge street. People having gelatos. Yeah, and gelatos. Coffees and, and, and waffles yeah. and... Sophisticated just, lunches. It's designed it to look like old style French. You know. Right, we think we're going to eat here which is uh, Le Dragon de Europe, which is a Chinese place. It looks really nice food and we've not had a Chinese for ages. Right, our meal's come out very quick. Got some fried rice, um, chicken and pineapple, beef with chili sauce, and a, so a huge bottle of water, because we're so dehydrated. Is that nice? Oh, Mine is really nice. Is that a bit? Oh, is it spicy? No, it's really salty, but it's nice. Mm. So we're sat in this little alcove, which is nice, because it's away from the sun. There's no air con in here, unfortunately. It's nice, just to have a non-Disney food. Yeah, it's a shame there's no Chinese in Disney, like uh, Nine no. Dragons in Epcot, but uh, can't complain with this. 
Right, it's a few hours later, we're heading back into the park for dinner at Plaza Gardens, which is in Disneyland Park. Little, it looks a little bit like um, the Crystal Palace, doesn't it? Well, it's on the on opposite the, side. Yeah, yeah, it's on the opposite side. But we thought we'd eat in there tonight in the park and then just wait for it to get dark and then we can finally see the park at night. So we should hopefully be back for about half an hour of darkness. We've been back at the hotel, we've been doing our passenger locator forms and our um, lateral flow tests, were they? Yeah. Uh, which are all both negative, so we've uploaded them to wherever we needed Euro to upload them to Euro Tunnels, done the government passenger locator form, so we're all good to go back on Monday on the Euro Tunnel. So, but for now, we have about 50 minutes to get to the car park and then run into the park for our reservation. I'm not running, look at that. Right, we're through security. As you can see, there's a lot of people leaving the parks. So, uh, right, right. That's after a ride, we yeah, done? yeah, I was thinking that. We've not done the teacups yet, I'll get over it. it might be really nice on an evening to no, do the teacups. You. you don't think? No. Right, we're in the park and we're bedding down to Plaza Gardens, which is just on the right of Main Street at the end. Main Street is still pretty busy, so we're going to go down the arcade and just pop out at the side of Plaza Gardens. Right, there we go, Plaza Gardens is just there. Hope we get a window table. Let's ask for a window table today. Because uh, it doesn't look very busy, so should be able to get one, I think. There we go. Plaza Gardens. Right, we just went for our table. So uh, this is what it looks like. It does look very much like Crystal Palace from what I remember. So, uh, just waiting for our table to be ready. Right, we've got a brilliant table. I asked if I could sit near the window. So we're overlooking, well, Space Mountain's just back there, Happy Space Mountain, and um, we're just overlooking. You can just see the castle. If those trees weren't there, we'd have a great view of the castle. But uh, can't complain at this table. Oh my God, this wow. thing's just turned up. What is that? Oh, it's like a sausage. Like Gherkins, oh, you can have that. You can have them. I'll have the prawns. What's that? Is it hummus, I think? I'm not sure. Coleslaw, little tomatoes, um, some chorizo, salami, parma ham. Oh, little pancakes. Where? That little pancake Ooh. things. Right, let's tuck in. I just couldn't. I can stop staring at me. I'm just going to say, you put them all staring at me. Little little black gonna eyes. Make them dance? Poor little things. We're going to make them dance. Eat me first, eat me. No, no thank you. You almost ready to eat it? I'm just trying to pull it. Oh my god, I got guts. Oh my god, disgusting. I couldn't. I always order the wrong sodding thing. I do. Now I've seen yours, I want that. That looks absolutely it's usually, divine. It's usually me that orders the fish. I didn't order the chicken because it said rotisserie chicken and usually the rotisserie chicken is like shredded. Unless you didn't realise you've got to shred it yourself. And I've just got a plate of pollock. So the lights have just come on outside, the sun's now set. All the um, the lighting over there has just come on and over there. Another half an hour and it'll be pitch black. And we are just finishing up our mains. I finished my pollock. Uh, Lee's struggling with his rotisserie chicken. This is so nice. I went for the lighter option tonight. Although saying that, it was very bland. It didn't really have any taste. The butter sauce was delicious, but the fish wasn't a strong fish. Um, and it was, it was just lacked something tangy. Do you know what I mean? Fish can be a bit bland though. It, it was very bland actually. That chicken was delicious. What a waste. I can't eat anymore. I know, we've got petit foires. Dessert too. Here's our desserts. Four little mini desserts. Thank you. Merci. There we go. I, I, I honestly, I can't complain at this meal. I think it's been really good value and really, really nice food. Very different to the normal yeah. burgers, fries, hot dogs. Yeah, it's um, been nice to see corn. a bit of veg on my plate. Lovely. So that looks like a brownie with Mickey Mouse on. Let's have a look at it. Yeah. That is definitely a BB-8 Yeah, that looks like one of those BB-8 ones. Let me see if it is. Um, don't know what that is. Uh, that's some kind of like meringue type thing maybe. No, no, it's not. New. No, it's got like a custard inside. Mm. It's coffee princess. That's actually white chocolate. Which princess is that? Cinderella, man. No idea. She tastes like Cinderella. She tastes like her. Yeah. How, can, how can a princess taste of something? Look at this. I've had mine. 
That is nice. Ooh, Mickey. Inside, it's like a really cold chocolate mousse. It's, it's very nice. How do you get this out? Let me taste. Is this chocolate or? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a chocolate coin. Right, let's break it open. Let's have a look. Oh, it's like a brownie. Oh yeah, my goodness. Mmm. Oh my god. That is delicious. I'm gonna try this one. Is that meringue or like a cream frosting? Like yeah. Let's see what's on the inside of this. Is that ginger? This has got like gooey chocolate in it too. Mm. Oh I'm my god. Say, this has been my favourite meal so far. Definitely worth the money. This has actually been the cheapest meal as well. For all this. With annual pass discount, it was 62 euros, including drinks. Including drinks. Yeah. That's the cheapest meal we've had, and it's not been like fried burgers and things like that. And to be to be honest, I'm actually sick of eating burgers and American-style food. We picked here tonight because it's French and vegetarian, and it's definitely been very nice. Apart from the fish, which was very bland, and I wouldn't have chose that if I'd have known. I'm sorry, but I can't. I've got to leave these two little desserts. Well, I've got something to say as well. And I rarely say this, but I'm full. Me too. And I rarely would leave something so nice looking, but I just can't. The, I had the two chocolate ones, which were absolutely well nice. The and I just can't have those. Are they? The chocolate. Very refreshing. Chocolate I'm on my fave. Oh, I can't. Oh, no, I can't. I'm not oh. eating when I'm stuffed. No, no, no. Ah, we've finally seen it when it's all lit up. Look at Disneyland uh, Hotel down there. It looks amazing. So, and uh, they've got these new since we were last in for Halloween. Orange lamps with that witches' hats. Yeah. So they've got them all the way around the main bit here. So uh, it's looking more Halloween each day. Presumably they're going to put more Halloween stuff over there at some point. Great news. Look at that. Look at this Park uh, Hotel. All lit up. Love Main Street when it's lit up. What great news. Pirates of the Caribbean's only five minutes. Let's go. I'll spew my meal back up. Why are you not moving? What? All lit up here going into an adventure land. I like the real flame. There's not one not working at the side. I noticed that the other day. Ooh, it's not very Disney like. I was just going to say that. <laughs> There's one thing that I love doing, it's walking around Disney parks when it's on an evening. My best, my favourite is uh, Pan Kingdom. No, it's not. It's Pandora. In yeah, Animal it's Animal Kingdom, Kingdom yeah. Oh. It's uh, Pandora. It's not like that here, but it's. It, they, they must change all the sounds on an evening because you hear all the crickets and things yeah. like that. Fun fact. Mark can't hear crickets. Well, he can, but he can't hear the pumped out crickets because the pitch of it is too high for his hearing. Yeah. So we were taking Mickey over about the other night. Of course. Oh, let's have a look at the uh, the boat. I'm reading Bob Eager's autobiography at the moment. Bob, it's not called Bob Eager. Iger. Whatever. Yeah. Um, and um, why do you always say stuff wrong? It's just who I am. Anyway, it's talking about Shanghai Disneyland, and apparently Shanghai Disneyland is 11 times bigger than California Disneyland. So we're just thinking, can you imagine how long it would take you to explore a Weeks. Disneyland that is 11 times bigger than California? Weeks. Is it the only part though? I'm not sure to be honest. So it'd be like all the Florida parks put together into one. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Right, let's get on pirates. Come on then. Oh, wait a minute though. So there we go. There's the uh, the ship. You can't actually get on it at the minute. They've, um, they've put the barriers up and then the skull, skull rock. So I'll show you that. Come on. I want to ride it before the park closes. Cast member just stopped us as we were going in, wanted to know where Lee got his mask from. Then we started talking about Florida, and he actually thinks that Florida is the best place in the world as and well. And he's French. And he's French and works at Disneyland Paris. Five minute wait time, and there's only one person in front of us. Should be a walk on hopefully. Should be. Fingers crossed it breaks down like it did when Hannah and Mark were on it the other night. I think next time we come to uh, Disneyland Paris, we'll maybe try eating there. I did actually try to get reservations there tonight, but it's been fully booked. It says on the app to book two months in advance. I was saying that, it actually looks shut. Yeah, oh no, there's a couple of people there. Why does it make me nervous? <laughs> Je vais 
a good job really we didn't pay for photo pass because it's not been naturally working on Pirates of the Caribbean. Even though it takes your photo, it doesn't show it on the screens, the booths aren't open. And there's been a couple of other rides that's done that as well. I think the only one that had it was Hyperspace Mountain, wasn't it? Yeah, because I saw, I saw the photo on that. Yeah. Right, let's go and look at the park box little. Right, Main Street then, let's go. Right, Lee wanted to go to Fantasyland to have a look at it in the night. So, um, do you want to ride Snow White? No, but I bet Small World, it's only five minutes. I'm not going on Small World. Right, we're just getting on uh, Snow White because it's a walk on on his way out. 10 minutes, it's more than 30 seconds. I know. Straight on. I don't know why I wanted to come on this ride. It just, because I don't, I, oh, I just don't know why. I just like the ride. I think the colours and the, the story is absolutely amazing on here. But yeah, if it's Winnie the Pooh or Peter Pan, it can just definitely know. It's just missing the whole hole. I think they do have the whole whole bit further around. So scary that witching it for for kids. Right, It doesn't do the eye ho eye ho, does it? And we're back. Right through the castle, down to Main Street. I can't wait to get to Main Street. It looks so good. Hey? I can't wait to get to Main Street. No. Why do Christmas lights and like normal, like why does lighting get people excited? I don't know. Even though I know that it's like. Where's that coming from? from a building. I think that's from, um, I don't know if you can see them on the camera, the beams coming up, I think that's from Walt Disney Studios. You're doing a pattern on the cloud? Yeah. Believe it or not, the castle is actually just there, but because it's boxed up, there's no lighting on it. I don't really suppose they could do much with it when it's kind of hidden in cardboard. What do you think? Yeah. I'm just basking in the nighttime. You're having a moment. Illuminations of magic on Main Street. Well, I've got an idea. When we go home, we go to Blackpool for illuminations. The front of Disneyland Hotel. Obviously, all the. Um, Rooms are dark because it's been refurbed. That room's got one on, even the bedside lamp there. I wonder if anybody's oh, staying yeah, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That didn't have it yesterday. That were all in complete darkness yesterday. Maybe that's like, I don't like know. the test room. Or like the head of the maintenance who's refurbing it or something that's just staying there. What, I'm just trying it out. I'd love to just go in there now knowing that it's just completely empty and getting free reign to look around. <laughs> Right, that's it for our day. So we're going to end the vlog now. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell. Uh, drop us a comment below. Hit the subscribe button if you're new out around here. We have another full day in Disneyland Paris tomorrow. Our last one. Yeah. We're going to go to Little Two and get some. We're going to go where? Little. You said Little. Yeah. You said Little Two. Little as well. To get some um, cheap alcohol to take back with us. Might as well use his allowance. Yeah. So tune back into the next vlog. And uh, we'll see you and say goodbye for now. Bye. Bye. <laughs>